Welcome back, nerds. We're your hosts. I'm Jake. And I am Chad. This week we are sponsored by Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. This week we're also sponsored by Ray's Energy Drinks. Uh, this week we will be talking about Spider-Man uh, 2 and 3, the Raimi versions of Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Uh, we are trying to cover the Spider-Man movies in anticipation for a potential hopeful uh, oh, Spider-Man No Way Rose. Home trailer in the near future. Um, so we want to. We're trying. I think with our the upcoming weeks, we're going to try to get through all of the Spider-Man films, including the Amazing Spider-Man One and Two, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Venom. Yes. And then, of course, the Holland Spider-Mans. But yeah. But these ones that we're going to talk about today bring up some mixed opinions. <laughs> yeah. You you love them, you hate them, and then you love to hate them, and then sometimes you hate that you love them. Like it's just <laughs> there's really very little winning and a lot of mixed emotions. But with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. This is the All Things Nerd podcast. <laughs> Welcome back, nerds, to the All Things Nerd podcast, your weekly dive into all things nerd. So, uh, yeah, how's this? Uh, how's this week been treating you, Chad, Jake, Chad, <laughs> Jod? <laughs> just name. call me Jihad. Jihad? Did you just call me Jihad? <laughs> I'm not. I was gonna. I was gonna go into a Team America, and I was like, "That's not. It's not PC, buddy." <laughs> America, uh, fuck yeah. Uh, you know, this week it's. It was a week. You know, uh, no, it really wasn't that bad. Um, and we had something to look forward to on Friday. I mean, we had our live episode. That was a lot was, of fun. Yeah the the past couple have been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it's been a blast, and we just want to thank everyone that's been a part of it. Uh, yeah. We've gotten some more people participating. Um, my mom actually participated uh, this week uh, for, well, part of it. Um, but that's more than usual, so <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah, we played some some fun games that got everyone involved, which was nice. Um, instead of just like watching us drink or watching us play Battleship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, probably going forward, we'll try to come up with some more interactive games because that seems to be the key to, you know, having a fun live stream. I mean, we have fun either way because we just get hammered, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, getting you guys involved has obviously been the key lately. So, yeah. Uh, and, that's, and that's ultimately what we want. So, appreciate you guys, those of you who uh, have been coming by. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Also, on Friday, we announced our, our big news just for the live stream. Um, but now we're going to announce it publicly. Um, we have a whole new web store. We got rid of our old web store, which had like four things on it. Yeah. Uh, and we launched a, a brand new web store with over 45 different individual items. And each of those individual items have different sizes colors variations to them like this is a massive massive web store and it's pretty rad it's so cool we're so excited and about it we and we <clears throat> chad and i both have personally divine de, divined uh designed a couple of these things ourselves so yeah. um yeah definitely go check it out even if you're not going to buy something but please buy something uh yeah it helps us keep doing yeah. what we do and uh even if it's not for you if you know a, someone in your life that would appreciate some nerd stuff or you can buy stuff for <laughs> us <clears throat> no shame we will wear our own merch jake <laughs> one of the things that is on there now are baseball yeah. tees just like that um in a couple different colors so yeah it's super <laughs> awesome i don't know i just like my fingers that was creepy <laughs> 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 but yeah so we're super excited about that that's i mean that was my week besides those things jake how was your week <laughs> oh i don't know okay. my week was my week was rough i had uh it was a long work week and 
Uh, I ended it really well, though. I had my girlfriend's mom's birthday party the other night. It was a lot of fun. I learned of a new drinking game, which I told you about, that we could play uh, maybe when we're in person again. The Frisbee one that I was telling oh, you about. Yeah. I don't know the name of it, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, that'd be a, that'd be a blast. I want to I wanna play it. I think that'd be yeah. a fun one to, to do for, like, a live stream, too. Um, yeah. We'd have to, like, when GoPro it, out. though. Well, we could just both do it from our phones. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know? We'll figure it out later. Yeah. yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Man. <laughs> I, I think, uh, uh... That being said, I think let's just uh, move right into <laughs> our sponsor number uno. Uh, sponsor number one is Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. It's a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes on practically anything. Please listen up. Hey, you nerds. Do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, our good friends over at Crybaby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods, adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Bring it in. Boy, I like it. <laughs> All right. <You> let- <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue our, our dive through the Spider-Verse. Uh, we're uh, currently going through the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films uh, this week, just because you know we've been let down by rumors before, but we really feel that we are coming close to uh, the No Way Home trailer. So we really, the, we really want to get through the Spider-Man films because we're on of the cusp. Other, oh, what a we're on, we're on the cusp of the Spider-Man super trailer. Awkward, but good word. <laughs> just cusp. Hmm. <laughs> but because uh, yeah. that movie's coming out soon, yeah. uh, I mean it's coming out later this year. But the trailer's supposed to drop. It, it was supposed it, to drop like months ago, but whatever. The movie itself was supposed to be out like this month before <clears throat> COVID. Oh, was like, it the really? movie? Yeah, we were already supposed to have been seeing this movie. Oh well. Um, but here like, we are. The, the the giant rumor that's going around is that there is going to be uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield uh, reprising their roles uh, because, as we know from Loki uh, and uh, WandaVision, the multiverse is fucking cracked wide open right now. Yeah. Uh, and we know that Doctor Strange 2 is multiverse of madness, and we also know that Doctor Strange, uh, Spider-Man... Wanda, and now, as the conclusion of Loki, they have released that Loki will also be in Multiverse of Madness with all of those characters. So, it's looking a lot more like... Fruit fly, sorry. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) It was like right here. Uh, It's looking a lot more like those characters will be in this No Way Home uh, movie. Um, And so we want to plow through those uh those movies and just get everybody just plow through them cusp plow what are you <laughs> doing what kind of podcast is this and uh we want to get through the movies hopefully before the trailer drops and then uh then everybody that does listen to us regularly will be cut up yeah and they'll at least know a little bit about each of the different variations of spider-man that we've seen over the years and most importantly our opinions on those Spider-Man's <laughs> yes. through the years. Because <laughs> there's going to be some real bad opinions. And, and some, some real really, good ones. Real good ones, too. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, Spider-Man 2. Fucking we, uh, love this movie. Yeah. Watched it last night. Uh, yeah, just as a fucking, recap. Yeah. And, uh, granted, I have a lot of qualms with this movie, but I, I still, to this day, love this movie. Yeah. I have seen it so many times. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's a fun movie. Yeah. And for the time, like, the graphics in it were great. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. One of the coolest Spider-Man fight scenes that we've gotten ever. 
the train fight yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll yeah. talk a little bit more about that uh, coming up. But, I mean, first off, like, the main villain of this movie is uh, Doc Ock, Dr. Octavius, Otto Octavius. played Dr. By Octopus. Dr. Octopus, thank you. Uh, played by uh, Alfred Molina. Who is also rumored to Not rumored, his he's role. confirmed it. He's confirmed to yeah. reprise his role in uh, the next Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. So, also goes to show that the multiverse is very real in the upcoming movies. So, that's why we want to do these Spider-Man movies right now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, he he played that role so well. Yeah. Because, <clears throat> like, in just about every single iteration that we get Doc Ock in, like, he is not, like, some fit, awesome, like, super bad villain like no he's kind of homely a little in this one he's like like it doesn't look like he's in terrible shape but like he's got like a babe ruth body you know there's like like a yeah there's definitely like he's he's a big strong dude but it's not defined muscle it's kind of like a very square dad bod there's definitely like a trench coat scene where his like titties are hanging out yeah he's got some moves it's like this is weird he pulls it off. He's yeah. got the confidence. Your I'm hammer pulled you off? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when I spun yeah. real fast, I could fly. Oh, like on your back? <laughs> no, like it would pull me off. The, oh, my God, your hammer pulled your you hammer off. Your hammer pulled you off. <laughs> uh, uh, well, yeah, th- this is out of the original Raimi Spider-Man movies. This one was definitely my favorite. Spider-Man 2. It was so good. Uh, yeah, the action is awesome. I like Chad said the graphics for this movie at the time that it came out, and still actually after watching it last night, like to this day, like those arms were fucking rad, dude. Dude, the arm, uh, the yeah, the mechanical arms looked great. Speaking of the mechanical arms, yeah, you like that? Yeah, See that, that was segue? a segue. That was a segue. Uh, that was a, a no handlebar segue. It's just the ones that you stand on, and it just segues. It's so smooth. We uh, before um, you know everybody started arguing about rights to the movies and fighting between Sony, Fox, and Disney and all that bullshit. Uh, there, there was supposed to be a mention of the robotic arms in spider-man 2 that doc ock uses being made by stark industries and they scrapped the idea because everybody was a bunch of toddlers fighting in a sandbox i mean kind of a bummer you say they were but like they are that fight basically came to like fruition like last year (laughs) yeah (laughs) but what was the other uh the other big uh one that we get in there yeah, we get a, a reference to Doctor Strange uh, when Doc Ock actually starts to kind of go bad and, like, robs a bank and uh, <clears throat> J. Jonah Jameson uh, by J.K. Simmons, oh, born for that role. Yeah, especially since his name is J.K. Simmons <laughs> and the yeah. character is J. J. Jonah, Jonah Jameson. J. 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 Jameson, yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but just the voice and the like the barking voice oh so good mm-hmm. i'm so glad that he's back because mm-hmm. we we got a glimpse of him in far from home at you know the end credit scene yeah but um so with all of dr all strange that, you're yeah, going yeah, thank you strange. thank yeah. you thank you uh <laughs> they're trying to come up with a name for Otto octavius uh as a as a villain and uh one of the guys one of the editors at the daily beagles like what about Doctor Strange and J. John and Jameson is like, no, that name's already taken. Yeah. And like it's a throwaway line, but it's yeah. it's there. It's just a nice little nod. But he says good. He goes, Oh, that's good. Ah, it's already taken. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, also for some deeper nerds here, uh, that was Joxer the Mighty from Xena. Who Boy plays Princess? Who plays that dude? Wow. Yeah. And then obviously Bruce Campbell was um, Jack of all trades. He was also a recurring. Oh, in in Xena, I thought you yeah. were trying to like mention who he was in this oh, movie yeah. because he was also in this movie. 
yeah, just has like no, a cameo. Cause, cause, uh, the Hercules, uh, series, Xena and, um, ja- or, uh, Jack of all trades were all Sam Raimi. Um, yeah. Shows. Fun fact. This is completely off topic, but I just, when I, when I was staying in New Zealand, uh, one of the families that I stayed with, like the, well, this was years ago. It's not that cool. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty cool, but like, that's not what I'm getting at. Uh, <laughs> one of the one of the families that I stayed with the the guy was a he's a horse trainer, it, but like a lot of movies that like try to look middle ages film in New Zealand or at least they used mm. to, and so he was like in a bunch of Xena uh, episodes nice. as just like random dudes that get shot with an arrow and fall off a horse because nice. a lot of his horses were in the movie were in those uh-huh. episodes and stuff like that he's That's also in lot of the rings which is kind of cool um yeah. but coming back from that um <laughs> what really bothered me about this movie mm. uh uh I, we just need to take a minute and i feel bad because mm. i feel like we rip on uh female characters a lot on the show and that's not our intent because one we love we female love characters women. Uh, yeah. Oh, and women. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and um, but also just like a strong female character is yeah. the best. Yeah. But we have to talk about Mary Jane Twatson. Yeah. Oh my God, what a twat in this movie. Oh, just like conniving and toxic. I mean, yeah. I mean, she wants Peter, but then when Peter is like. No, we can't be together. She's like, all right, well, that's okay, because I already have a boyfriend. And it's like, wait, what? And then she's like, well, actually, I'm engaged to my boyfriend. And then she's like, well, actually, hey, uh, kiss me one time. And then she, like, puts her hand on his hand with her giant fucking wedding ring on her finger. And she's like, just kiss me. And then it's like, what? And then fucking only and only after she finds out for sure that he's spider-man she's like i love you and then he's <laughs> like and he's like well i can't be with you because i'm spider-man and she goes all right well i'm just gonna marry my other guy then yeah and then she ultimately decides and then she well, turns okay. into julia roberts and is like no, yeah i'm not gonna be here <laughs> runaway bride i get it i like it it was literally yeah. the same scene like running through like the NYU campus with like the fountains, but it's not quite Central Park. Like in yeah. slow motion in her flowy dress, and then oh. the next scene she's like standing in his doorway, like in a wedding dress, and he's all sad because he's not getting the girl. And it's like, yeah, okay, like, dude, Ugh. this movie's been done. Yeah, it was. Uh, she was just a. In the comics, done. Mary Jane Watson is a really awesome character. And, and a super very su- dynamic. And she's super, like, supportive of him being Spider-Man in the comics. And she's like, also, like, just awesome on her own right. Like, in a lot of yeah. storylines, like, she's an awesome, like, invest. I'm saying awesome a lot. Uh, awesome. If, if I say it enough, you guys aren't going to believe me. Um, <laughs> she's a, a really great, like, awesome investigative character. journalist. <laughs> she's just great. It's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Say it one more time and I'll believe just, you. It's just great. change the word. <laughs> but yeah, and they just made her just such a bitch. Yeah, it really just they did not try to make a strong female character uh, in these films, no. which is really disappointing <clears throat> because there is, are yeah. there's so many, especially just like tied to Spider Man. Oh, it's just frustrating. Um, so yeah, we get Mary Jane Twatson. Um, yeah. but then we also get a lot of like cheesy moments. Some yeah. of them are kind of fun. Some of them are, are just like, go get them tiger. Um, well, we definitely got to talk about the, there's ding, like a, ding, 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 no, ding. no, 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 Spider-Man. no, 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 Spider-Man. Yeah, that's <laughs> bad. That's bad. But there's a, it's a, the whole point at some point in this movie, Peter is losing faith in himself because he's. His uncle's dead. He's not getting the girl. His best friend hates him because, you know, his dad is dead and he Peter takes Spider-Man. pictures of Spider-Man. Uh, and his aunt, after he tells his aunt that he could have stopped the guy who killed his uncle, 
his aunt pulls away from him. So he's like really, really down on himself and it's, he starts losing his powers. And it's at some point in the movie, he decides he doesn't want to be Spider-Man anymore. He's like, fuck this. I'm not doing it. And there's this fucking, which is like a huge, like emotional scene. But then they follow it up with him walking down the street to the song raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> and he fucking like, stumbles in like slow motion and realizes oh i need my glasses and pulls his glasses out of his pocket and like puts them on and like cheesily like smiles it's Raimi, what were you doing man there's also a lot of scenes that were like people screaming and like quick cuts especially with like doc Ock, doc ox arms <clears throat> um, oh yeah like when he's like attacking people and people are just like yeah Arr! yeah yeah. <laughs> and then the dude that reaches for like I don't know why a hospital would have like a super chrome plated stainless steel <laughs> uh chainsaw to try and cut these off instead of I don't there know. It was a circular medical. saw. It was literally there was a circular two. saw. There was a circular saw and a chainsaw. Oh god. The chainsaw the was sitting off to the side until one dude got thrown up against the, the wall and he's like scrambling for it. Then he <laughs> grabs it and then like as he starts cutting, like he drops out of frame and you just like see sparks and then you hear him scream and then you just see the chainsaw like slide across the floor and it's still perfectly stainless steel. Like it's Ugh. like, it's chrome plated. Like it is you shiny. You wouldn't as... use a chainsaw to cut metal. Like that doesn't, you, or a you, circular saw. That's well, if it had like, you know, the, the right kind of grooves, you could use a circular saw, but like in a medical situation, like an oversized yeah. circular saw or like a fucking Well, And chainsaw. then the guy <laughs> said, and then the guy says with the circular saw, he goes, Anybody ever take shop class? Me, me. <laughs> and then the the like, in- oh, like moves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so cheesy. But one thing that really bothered me, and I didn't notice that it bothered me until we rewatched it, um, was <laughs> so when Peter Parker starts to lose his powers, like his web shooters stop working because he has. We've mentioned this uh, when we talked about the first one. They made him, like, a biological web. So, like, he just, like, produces a white liquid as he's going through puberty, and it shoots out of his body. Yeah. Uh, so that's gross. Um, sorry, Mom. But if it's if it just comes, like, out of his skin, like, if he produces it, like, so be it. Comes? Did you say comes out yeah. of his skin? Yeah, if he just, like, comes like, and swims comes. from it. <laughs> like oh like coming uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow that's really gross <laughs> now i'll say sorry mom because that was bad <laughs> but that means that there's no like air pushing it out it's it's done through like muscle like there's no compressor like with a mechanical web shooter or a, like a, a tech that does it so when he loses yeah. his power he he like tries to shoot webs and it goes like <laughs> It's like he's queefing out of his wrist. Like, what the fuck? It made no as, sense, and it fucking bothered me. Yeah. As we're in the comics and, like, other Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man, who's a genius, yeah. makes the webbing and makes, like, a cartridge. Uh, so when he does this, that's why he does this. He's pushing a button on the palm of his hand that releases the webbing. And it makes a noise as it shoots the web out because that's super compressed. Yeah. So when that's it shoots why you get out the of there, whip. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tobey Maguire's character in the Raimi Spider-Man's shooting cum out of his wrists, and it's going <laughs> splat, splat <laughs> <laughs> instead of whip. <laughs> but when it's dry, it's just <laughs> <laughs> like it's liter- like literally his wrist is queefing. And it bothered me so much. I didn't realize that it bothered me. Like I, I didn't either until you said it to me, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's so." Like up. I always had issues with it being like a biological web shooter. Yeah, that was a. Problem. But I was like, okay, I get it. They didn't want to. Back then, they didn't anticipate taking you know twenty movies to like for character development. You know, they're like, yeah. how do we do this in the first half hour of the movie so that we mm. can get on with the story. And yeah, it just bugged me. Yeah, it it really got to me when we were watching. Ooh, it. I was like, oh, ooh, another ooh. one that we didn't talk about. Sorry, 
and I don't want to stay on Spider-Man 2 too long after this, but <clears throat> uh, the finger pubes. Oh, yeah. The finger pubes. Yeah, that's more in Spider-Man 1, but, like, it, like, zooms yeah. in on his fingers when he's, but like... I totally forgot about it until we started talking about this. And just, like... They zoom in on his fingers, and his fucking curly pubes come out of his hands. And, and that's, that's how, how he's he able to... <laughs> they're not curly, I'm sorry. They're but more... they're pubes. Finger pubes. It's like the regrowth. Get the fuck out of here. After, after a shave, <sighs> you know, like, when it's still prickly. <laughs> 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 sorry mom <laughs> um, but this movie does have the coolest fight scene yeah it's uh, there's we're it's re- iconic we, it's more funny to talk shit about movies than it is to talk about the good things that's why we do that we yeah. love this movie yeah, I love, we love this to movie. make jokes that's what it really comes yeah. down to the, the things that we've got on rants on about to like make fun of are literally like two second moments of this two yeah. hour movie yeah uh but this movie is kick-ass doc ock is kick-ass the arms are insane the detail into the how he uses the arms are insane because like i remember watching it last night when he's like rebuilding the thing and he's like lifting the thing up and if you pay like attention he's got two the two arms are on the ground bracing him while he's lifting the thing because i was like there's no way he could lift this i was like oh never mind those arms are yeah they're taking the weight yeah yeah. it's crazy i'm like doing like backstreet boy dance moves trying to get my this fly out of my face everybody (laughs) yeah oh that's in sync never mind wow i did i did this one the bye 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 yeah Yeah. well you can just get fucked that's fine Oh. oh okay wasn't really wasn't really my thing boy bands I guess you're a little too old for that, huh? Yeah, old man. Anyways, uh, the train fight. What? Oh, I can't even read that, and it's probably uh, backwards. That's what that's what all the girls used to write on their hands when I was a kid what in is- school. I wasn't too old for it. I just didn't give a shit about it. What, they what used did to it write- say? BSB for Backstreet Boys. Oh. They would write it in like permanent marker on the back of their hands. Oh. It was wild. Yeah. <laughs> You probably didn't get many girls because you didn't have frosted tips, huh? I had frosted tips. Did you really? <laughs> they weren't tips because I had long hair, but I did like like highlights, like frosted highlights. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that did that <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but yeah, so back to that train fight. Super awesome. It's It's one of the longer fight scenes as well. Yeah. Um, and it, you get some of the more iconic scenes where basically people start to be like, oh my God, this dude really is a hero. Like he's saving us to the point where they see his face without the mask and they're like, I saw nothing. And they like hand him his mask back. That Um, part was, that was like one of my favorite parts in the movie is when the, he's unconscious on the ground or whatever. And the guy's like, he's just a kid. He's no older than my son. Yeah. Yeah. That part was cool. But I also really like in that fight scene is that they, um, in the first movie, Spider-Man was uh, very open and like able to use his webbing a lot. In that fight scene on the train, because uh, a lot of the fight scene is like in the train, he can't swing or like use his like abilities like for shit. Yeah, that, I thought that was cool. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and then we also get to see like him like being like, oh. I'm so strong, and he, like, tries to stop the train, and, like, it doesn't work. And then the super cheesy train conductor, but we'll not get into that. Um, and then, like, he shoots his webs on the walls to try and, like, slow it down. And then it... I used, I used to shoot my webs on the walls when I was in Gross. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gross. Um, but then, it like, the the webs aren't strong enough so it's one of the first times that we get to see him like use multiple webs yeah. to like strengthen mm. i don't know i just thought it was really cool that was cool and we do get kind of a a nod at willem dafoe i'm gonna get more into why that bothered me after this next break when we get into to episode three. three yeah but so we kind of get like a, a flashback to willem dafoe which is awesome because he is it's not really a flashback. It's like a, 
like the well, ending scene yeah of, uh, i mean it, yeah. yeah it it's weird <clears throat> basically, basically. The, the ghost of uh past willem dafoe well so the reasoning for it is though is that he's they're showing that harry has the same uh mental disorder that his dad had you mean schizophrenia because, yeah yeah because in the in the comics the serum that uh green goblin takes should and could be used by a normal person in a positive way but because he's fucking psycho it doesn't work with him and he fucking goes off yeah, and the psychotic part his, of him takes over it's plus yeah. psychosis yeah so this part where they show a uh, lingering uh willem dafoe's character as green goblin in harry's psychosis basically they're showing that he has the same mental disorder um yeah. Hinting towards him being a uh, hobgoblin, yeah, the new which would goblin. be, yeah. So, and then we'll get into that in the next one. Yeah. So, and then it ends with "Go get him, Tiger," which yeah. is at the time was probably what Spider-Man fans would equate to what us Marvel fans, as a whole, how we waited to hear Avengers Assemble. Yeah, but it was. I mean, of course, it was said by Mary Jane Twatson, uh, because <laughs> what? I'm just saying her name. I got uh, no beef with Kirsten Dunst. She's in a lot of movies I really like. Oh, but I love her. Fucking, I've had a wrote, crush on her since I was fucking they 11 just years old. Wrote her character. Yeah, they did not. They didn't do the character of Mary Jane justice. They did not. But she does say, "Go get him, Tiger." In the comics, that's one thing that she said to to Spider Man a lot. And it was it was fine, but that's how the movie ends. Cool, roll credits, whatever. Um, but with that, we're going to wrap this up, get into sponsor number two, uh, and then we'll probably do some more shitting on Spider Man Three afterwards. And by probably, I mean we're gonna shit on Spider Man Three afterwards. Spider Man Three is the worst Spider Man ever. Ever, yeah. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I'm looking so, at you, 1970s Japan. Ever. 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 Or ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, sponsor number two this week, guys, uh, is still Raise Energy Drinks. Oh, who would have thought? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, Raise Energy Drinks, awesome energy drinks, uh, zero calorie, zero crash. Uh, zero so sugar, carbs. zero carbs. That's so good. I it even really know it now. Yeah, it is really good, guys. So uh, take a listen and find out how you can save some money on some Raise. What's up, nerds? I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about Raise Energy, an incredible energy drink that provides max energy with zero crash. Raise Energy takes a giant leap of faith with instilling a high quality formula to bring a powerful yet sustained energy energetic experience to help you push your workouts and focus to the next level perfect for anyone at any time empowered by their refresh formula technology raise energy delivers a performance enhancing energy drink that aids in multiple different categories that include targeted focus better recovery time improved clean energy levels and a boost in stamina and hydration but most importantly Every can of Ray's Energy has absolutely zero calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates to give you a smarter and healthier option. So don't settle for an energy drink that contains more sugar and carbohydrates than you can count. Instead, head over to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and use the promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout for 15% off your order. Or if you don't know what you want, go ahead and click the link that's in the description for, to get a $50 sample pack for free. All you do is you cover the cost of shipping. Again, make sure you use promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout to let them know that we sent you. <coughs> Welcome back, oh, guys. Spider-Man. Uh, I wrote, so on the <laughs> page here, instead of Spider-Man, I don't know why, but I wrote Spider-Mam with an M-A-M, uh, which is weird. It's okay. I wrote happened. I wrote Spoderman because it <laughs> seems like the the cheap knockoff. Yeah. Like the Aldi version of toys. I feel like Spider Man is like if Aunt May like became Spider Man <laughs> instead of 
instead of Excuse Peter me, Parker. Yes, or Ouch. or if it was like, like a member of like the British royal family. Yeah. It's like instead of a like in the Simpsons arcade game, <laughs> uh it's like Marge. She takes off her pearls and like hits people with their pearls. That's what like Spider Man would do. She'd take <laughs> off her pearl necklace and like it's the same concept. Oh, it's my still pearls. Calm either oh, way. My pearls. Yeah. It's still calm either way. Pearl necklace or like Spider Man. Gross, dude. Well, I mean, come on. I mean, we've all thought it, so you're not that bad. But anyways, welcome back, guys and yeah. girls, people, friends. Uh, you think you think <laughs> after all the shit you've talked about, females that uh, female characters, not females, but just female what characters, you, that they're. What still... do you mean you? What do you mean you have talked about? I have. I have had. Don't don't elaborate. Okay. Do not elaborate. Okay. Don't fine. elaborate. Mm-hmm. I have nothing against females in movies i just like a well done character and i feel like well because most of hollywood is written by uh white men yeah and they fucking make it horrible and it's not the actress's fault i love every i will let me defend myself against you you (laughs) a-hole every every female character that i bashed on this podcast i have never bashed on the actress I've only bashed on the character that they played really? because it was you written didn't, you didn't so hard. Bash horribly. on Jennifer Lawrence for her complaining about her makeup. Yeah, but she sucks, and so does. <laughs> Aunt- <laughs> but that's like that's like the equivalent. Well, almost not really the equivalent, but that's like Amber Heard. Like she sucks. That she's a horrible person, and like I'm not saying Jennifer Lawrence is a horrible person, but I mean. Yeah, like we are saying that if, Amber Heard is a horrible person. Amber Heard is a horrible person, <clears throat> and we bashed on her trash. deliberately. Yeah, mm. I only will bash on a character if it's a bad character. And like Chad said, the only reason they're bad characters is because it's fucking white men that are writing the characters for those movies, and they yeah. purposely write them terribly. So yeah, because anytime that one like when the the director is like uh, <clears throat> director or producers even are like people of color or women like those mo- movies tend to have way better written female characters. Yeah. It's look at, ridiculous. look at the Loki series, female director. Sylvie was arguably a better character than Loki in that fucking series. I loved her character. Like also like I think in the entire <clears throat> MCU up until, uh, Black Widow. I'm pretty sure that every single movie failed the Bechtold test. If you guys, I'm not aware of this test. Explain. So what the Bechtold test is, is if there's ever just, ever just women on screen, right? Um, and they don't talk about a male, it passes. Hmm so many you'd think that there's so many like strong female characters out there and then when you look at it through the, like the lens of the Bechtold test you're like wow so many of these movies fail hmm. but in in Black Widow there are plenty of scenes I mean there's still a lot of scenes where she also talks about like Clint Barton but there's plenty of scenes just between uh, ScarJo and Florence Pugh 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 no it's Florence Pugh I think it's Pugh, Pugh. Yeah, because she's... Yelena. She, we'll just call her Yelena. But there was plenty of scenes where, like, they just, like, held out conversation that had nothing to do with a, a male character. Yeah. So, like, I th- I'm pretty sure that that was the first, like, MCU film that passed. And it was a female director of that movie, correct? I don't know. That's why, I, that's why I didn't want to say that. That's why I didn't I'm say that when I started it. Almost positive. And I'm going to say her name, too, because... Uh... I mean, we, we called out a lot of, like, crappy things in that movie that were just, like, poorly written. But, like, dude, I love that movie. I don't think it fits in Phase 4. But I loved that movie. Yeah. It's a female. Her name's Kate Shortland. Okay, yeah. I thought so, but I didn't know for sure, so I didn't want to say no. it. Um, and the Loki director is also female and also, I think, returning for Season 2. Hopefully, I hope she so. did amazing with yeah, season she did one. Great. Yeah, I do not 
defending myself, I do not. I know you're joking about it because we've <laughs> had this conversation. I know, but I do not dislike female actors or females at all. I dislike female characters directed by males that write them poorly. It has yeah. nothing to do with the actresses just, that play just them. Just in general, just female characters that are written poorly. Yeah. Just to, like, please the majority. Like, no, give me an abrasive woman on yeah. screen that is just badass. Like, that's yeah. all that I want. <clears throat> it makes Agreed. for a better story. Yeah. And it makes for a more realistic like person that you can actually connect to and, like, see parts of yourself in, even as a man. I liked, I liked Yelena, uh, Florence Pugh's character in I like Black how Widow. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't want to say it wrong. I'm pretty sure I, it's Pugh. Yeah. I like her character better than I like Black Widow because I myself am the younger brother. I have an older brother. And mm-hmm. I like how in that movie, how like she would like tease like tease her sister. What do you? Why do you do this thing with your hair? And the you know like I like thought that everybody's she was watching. <laughs> yeah, I thought that she was funny. And then when she does it in the movie, she's like such a poser. Yeah, like yeah, and you then know. When and Florence then Florence Pugh does it. She's like, oh, she's like, gross. Oh, that was good. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. so go. Go sorry. fuck yourself with your comments I'm about sorry. that. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, Back to Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man 3 was the worst Spider-Man movie that we have gotten so far. It was a, a red, black, and blue dumpster fire. Oh, my God. With risk there were, come. There were cool parts to it. But it wasn't like consistent it enough should have to been be like two movies. First off, yeah. it should have been there was too much going on, yeah. and they they retconned Uncle Ben's death just to push a storyline. Yeah, like suddenly it was no, this dude didn't kill, kill Uncle Ben. This dude did, even though we yeah. literally saw the dude that killed Uncle Ben in the first one. But <clears> no, yeah. you didn't see that, which would then make. Peter Parker, like, a fucking murderer because he, like, killed that guy in the first one. He just walked up to him and the dude stepped out the window on his own. I mean, it was more like euthanasia or, like, uh, <laughs> assisted suicide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill yourself or I'm going to kill you. All right, I'm going to jump out this window. Yeah. All right. Uh, in- involuntary assisted suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... There, yeah, there was, but this movie, we're going to shit all over this movie because this movie sucks. But Sandman uh, looked cool. Sandman was cool. Sandman was cool. The Even graphics, though he especially, somehow, like, like, killed Uncle Ben magically, like, from the side, even though he was shot in the chest and wasn't looking that way, but whatever. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. And <laughs> the guy that shot him also, like, you know, had the gun in his hand, but, like, yeah. it wasn't him. Oh, weird. Um, mm. It was bad. It was real bad. Sandman was cool. Uh, I liked the way he looked. He was very comic accurate. Um, his motives were comic accurate. Um, Hayden Christian Church. I think oh, we were supposed name. to look that up, but we didn't. Should have. I'm pretty uh, sure I'm right. Yeah. He's basically uh, like 15 years earlier, the acting equivalent of John Cena. <laughs> Only he wasn't a wrestler. He was just an actor Re- wrestling with his acting career Ooh, wow harsh. Ooh, ow. oh that was oh <laughs> oh i actually like him as an actor though i thought he, he was a- i thought he was actually a pretty good actor um, he just in doesn't he doesn't too. do like crazy big roles that was probably like one of the bigger roles he's ever done yeah in my opinion yeah yeah but um, anyways <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, uh he we, was cool we, we got a really Go ahead. You go. Super shitty Venom. That's what I was going to say. So yeah. we were stuttering uh, over the same thing. We just straight up got Topher Disgrace. Uh, we got sorry, fucking, Topher Grace. We got Eric from fucking that 70s show as Venom. Okay. Eric. In, in Eric. <clears throat> he is actually a phenomenal, like, editor of films. Uh, he's really talented at, like, in the movie film realm. This was a terrible choice for him. It actually caused him to stop acting. 
like outside of anything besides like indie films for like yeah. 10 or 12 years. Yeah. Which is good because indie films fucking bring actors back from the grave, dude. And Joseph Gordon love it. Yeah. He was a huge star when he was a kid. He did Third Rock from the Sun and he disappeared for like ever. Fucking came back with Brick, The Lookout, um, Manic, which are all indie films, and look at him now. Yeah, Huge. And even look at like Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Harry yeah. Potter and Twilight, and then he disappeared, did a bunch of like some indie films. Mm-hmm. I mean, he did Water for Elephants, which I enjoyed, actually. I mean, I never saw it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then. You know, disappeared for a while. Did some indie films like The Lighthouse. Uh, he Lighthouse did... was awesome. Did you? This is. We're trying to avoid talking about Spider Man Three. If you guys haven't, noticed, <laughs> uh, because this movie was not good. Um, uh, in the in the movie The Lighthouse, he <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Uh, he's gone on record to say this. He had such a hard time trying to just like act that character sober. Because he was just a drunken mess. So, like, he legitimately was just a drunken mess for Man. the entire movie. That's why I should have been an actor. I'm a drunken mess all the time. Yeah, you could have been in The Lighthouse. <laughs> no, it was the, the Shia LaBeouf uh, Lawless. You know what I'm talking about? Have I, you seen I that movie? I haven't seen it, no. Bro, what are you doing? Go watch that movie. When we get off the phone, you watch... Or the phone? This is the, the phone. phone. Yeah, this is the phone, you know, our you podcast. you got to watch. <laughs> That's probably like a top five favorite movies of mine. Really? Yeah. And the so Shia LaBeouf said there is three brothers and they're moonshiners. We'll get back to Spider-Man in a second. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, One second. They're, this is more important. They're, they're moonshiners. And Shia LaBeouf's character is the youngest brother of the three. And he is a shit show, kind of, uh, for a part of the movie. Um, because he drinks just straight up moonshine. And so Shia LaBeouf on set of the movie was to get in character, was just getting hammered on set. And like, I the wonder girl why so many people fucking hated that dude for a while. <laughs> the girl, I think he would be, I think he would be a riot other than like dude, the I allegations would... of like him, like hitting his girlfriend and stuff. I think yeah, he would be a not okay. fucking riot to hang out with. But yeah, he the was second the, those things are proven wrong, like I want to hang out with this dude. Yeah, you heard it first, Shia. Yeah. I don't know all why I pointed the. Podcast. What? All things are podcast. All things are podcast. Yeah, all things are podcast. Come on, our podcast. Shia LaBeouf. Sh- all <laughs> things are podcast. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, the girl who was supposed to be his love interest in the movie was like, I can't fucking work with this guy. He's hammered. <laughs> he was oh, like, I, "Yeah, I'm just, I did I'm just getting into character. Ah, that'd be fun." Kind of like how he was super gross on Fury, like just wouldn't yeah. shower, wouldn't and shower. Stuff like, that. like he literally, he's a method well, actor, but well, he and he has he literally has that scar on his eye that he has right here. Because yeah. in Fury, they put a, they were like, "Oh, we're gonna give you a, like a cut on your eye." So to like be realistic, he cut himself with a razor blade. And that scar is like forever on his face now because he wanted it to heal uh, the way it would realistically heal rather than having like a makeup artist do it. Yeah. Which I can respect on one hand and on the other hand, be like, like, all right, bro. Like, chill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, so Spider Man. But yeah, uh, so three. back to back to the the worst Venom that we've seen in live Terrible. action, and by that I mean one of two. Yeah. Um, he was like shaped like Topher Grace. <laughs> so like he's Eric from that '70s show. You know, like if if String Beans like joined <laughs> Snap Fitness like six months before filming. Uh, nothing against Topher Grace. Again, I love Topher Grace, but like. The, that rendition <laughs> of Venom. Like, Venom is, bad. like, beefy. Like, that was one thing Huge, that I yeah. liked about the Venom uh, solo film with Tom Har- Tom Hardy's already huge, right? Yeah. Uh, but they made Venom, like, monstrous. Way bigger, yeah. Which is how it was. because it's supposed to be, yeah. Eddie Brock, even in the comics, was, I mean, 
bigger co- bigger than Peter Parker, which yeah. was wrong in Spider Man three, but he wasn't like a a monstrous dude. He wasn't like Hugh Jackman after filming the Wolverine. Like <laughs> to clear up what Chad is kind of saying is that in the comics and even the cartoon that Eddie Brock is a big guy. He's not a small, he's a jock. Yeah. And he's a muscular he, dude. And when he's venom, he's like fucking like almost like the Hulk. incredible Hulk size. Okay. But in Spider-Man three, they were like, we're going to make fucking Eric Foreman <laughs> venom, but we're going to, we're, we're going to also, we're going to also this much keep hate ven- that we're throwing out there. is going to be the reason that he stops acting or doing everything for but the next also, 10 years. But also, we're going to keep Eric Foreman as Venom, as Venom, the same size as Eric Foreman. Yeah. It should, was garbage. Should we, should we talk more shit about uh, the Eric Foreman-sized Venom? Because if we get... This is, again, <laughs> off topic because because of how much he got, how much hate he got the first time for this role caused him to quit acting, but then he edited all three of the prequel Star Warses into one, like, three-hour-long movie, and it was amazing. Yeah. He just did I it for don't... fun. So if we keep doing this and keep yeah. talking shit about how it was just terrible, will he do it again and give us all the sequels Well, see the thing condensed that I feel into ba- one three-hour movie? I feel bad about the fact that people <clears> take that what that people would take this out on Topher Grace because it's not it's his, not his fucking fault, at all. fault. Yeah. No, he like, was it doing was his a, job. It was a terrible decision by the production company and directors. Even Sam Raimi well, said he didn't want to have Venom in this film. Yeah. It was This is 100% a hundred percent Sony and their production team. Oh, I feel like Sony has done some shit like this before. Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to go into depth there? Depth no, there, I don't. Oh, okay. Because we could talk for hours about oh, that. Yeah, we I... could talk for hours about that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, so and let's I get know. off. Let's get off of uh, the Topher disgrace uh, venom. Again, nothing oh, against Topher we get, Grace. But should we, we get should... into emo Peter? Well, let's first talk about the the totally super rad snowboarding uh, Harry Osborne. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get it. Get it, girl. Oh yeah, get it. Uh, get it. Uh, get it. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, but um, pump, pump, pump. Ow. Um, sorry. <laughs> Anyone who has seen a TikTok in the last six months knows what I'm talking about, and I am oh. not ashamed. Oh. Oh. But um, pump, pump. Ow. Ow. <laughs> get it. Ow. Get it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. 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 So, Spider-Man Two set up the fact that. Harry Osborn was going to become the next Green Goblin, Hop Goblin, whatever. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Um, and you're like, oh, cool! Like you see some of the like the old masks. You see like the old glider at the end of Spider-Man Two. The he, pumpkin bombs. Yeah, and he grabs like the the serum that like gives him like the super strength, whatever. Uh, what we get is, uh, if you ever played on PlayStation 2, uh, SSX3 Tricky, the snowboarding game, you get that dude in a face mask. Mm. He literally just rides an elongated Michael J. Fox hoverboard from Back to the Future 2 (laughs) that has, like, super powerful controllable magnets that you can just like turn off and then turn back on when you fall off and then it like comes yeah. back to you. Um, but like on a delay, you know, so that they can get a close up shot of like the magnets turning on, whatever. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> um, and he just has like a half mask that is yeah. super like, Oh yeah. He's got a very, uh, it looks like winter, half, winter soldier. I was going to say it's half of a paintball mask. Oh, okay. Pa- half of a paintball face shield. That is somehow mechanical, even though which, if no you know, Hobgoblin from the comics and cartoons, I'm like stabbing my notepad out of anger. <laughs> is like it's supposed to be like a Halloween mask. It's like a green mask with like a purple like hood it's, or orange hood. 
Yeah. It's very frustrating. Yeah, they... Hmm. Hmm. Was 2003, like, one of the first Winter X games? Because I think that's where they got a lot of the inspiration. Um, it was... Mm. Sean White, help us, like... Yeah. Come on the podcast. Let's let's debunk these rumors. Let's do it together. Uh, we can definitely do that. Um, it was just... It was bad. It was not good. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite parts... It's a very cheesy part, and that's why it's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> is even though we uh, talk shit about cheesy parts, but whatever. Yeah. Well, well, fine. well. We get the, we get emo Peter mm. Parker, which they kind of nod at in uh, Into the Spider Verse. <laughs> the yeah, the he dancing just, like, dances down the streets. Yeah, and he's like snapping his fingers. There's like a weird part with uh, Tobey Maguire where he puts eyeliner on and like messes his Instead hair up and his pulls hair, it. Like, brush the yeah. side and back basically i can just... do it actually i can do it hold on he does this right that's pretty close right yeah and then he puts he like eyeliner on and, balding. and then he and then he like goes like that a lot and uh, i don't think he actually has they don't like show him putting on eyeliner but like they he did has it, eyeliner they did it on. on purpose to make he him look sh- more yeah. you know dark because he was technically... And he was wearing all black. Because, like, his was, spider suit got touched by the symbiote yeah. venom. So, like, his spider yeah. suit turned black. So, yeah. he's like, I'm going to mirror this in real life. Yeah. Ugh. It was very bad. And it, yeah. emo and... Which, you know, both of us are former emo kids. Dude, so. I still love Hawthorne Heights. Like, Well, I'm no, I mean, I still love the music. I just Mexico. don't, you know, dress like that anymore. Yeah, I mean, I like to, like, have blood circulation in my thighs. <laughs> like, yeah, my jeans kind of taper, but, like, you're if I, like, clench a leg muscle, you're not going to, like, see it <laughs> through my jeans. Um, Nobody's going to see it through your jeans, bro. That's because I don't have muscle anymore because, you know. I was talking about your legs. Oh, if I put on girl pants, <laughs> you'd see it. Granted, they'd be like, never mind, I'm not going to go that far. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Uh, but no, we get a oh. pretty, we get a weird fight between Peter and Harry and... Uh, <laughs> Little baby going to cry. I, I love it. It's like my favorite line. It's so cheesy, but it's like my favorite line in the movie. And then he turned savage right he, after it. Peter just like fucking hits Harry. Harry hits the wall, falls on the ground like gets up and he's got like a look on his face like holy shit like and peter goes oh baby gonna cry <laughs> yeah it's i thought it was and then peter hilarious. starts to walk away harry throws a a pumpkin grenade a pumpkin bomb yeah at peter and then he throws it right back at harry he webs he dodges it webs it slings it back at harry and just throws a grenade at his childhood best friend yeah. You know, super, super emo stuff. Yeah. And then, like, three That's... days later, Harry's fine. Yeah. Because of the serum. We yeah, because of the that. serum. Yeah, we did talk about that off camera. You're right. Um, also, but Kirsten yeah. Dunst is still in this movie. Yeah. But, like, literally her only lines are to set up. <laughs> Set up memes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, she just screams set up, the whole movie. She sets up memes and then she screams. Oh, the, the memes. <laughs> yeah, talk about the meme because it's great. And it comes very early in the film because I started <laughs> watching Spider Man 3 last so night that, after Spider Man 2. And I so got that, to this part and I was like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> the, thing, the thing that they build up in this movie is that, uh, well, they build it up from Spider Man 2 is that Mary Jane is trying to become an actress and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and Spider-Man is like a big deal. Yeah. And so he's kind of become a bigger celebrity than she's going to be. And she's very jealous of it. So and, she's Anne Ferris. That's cool. And, uh, <laughs> and at some point Sorry. in the movie, there's a me, there's someone made a meme about it and it's very funny. Uh, at some point in the movie, she basically says she, and this isn't a meme. This is just something that she says in the movie. Is this isn't about you, Peter? And then the, the meme, meme is the meme yeah. is Peter like laughing and going, 
Mary MJ, the movie is called Spider Man Three. <laughs> uh, I wanted uh, to make a joke because we because I just referenced uh, Ann Ferris, mm-hmm. uh, and then be like, and then say sorry, mom, because she's in the show, mom. It was supposed to be funny, but or moms. It, it well, it's not that great of a show. Oh, so also. Oh, Anna Ferris is in a show called Moms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I don't know why I brought that back up. Eh, I whatever. haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. You don't need to. It's fine. It's okay. It's not did, like. Did you like I mean, Two and a Half Men? Did you mm, Did you enjoy that show? Like. Not really. Yeah, that's fine. Then you don't need to watch it. What about okay. like, Big Bang Theory? <laughs> Are you like a diehard fan of Big Bang Theory? Nah, diehard, no. Then you don't need to watch the show. Okay, cool. Sorry, primetime television. Do better. <laughs> do better. Do better. Um, but so uh, we do get some Gwen Stacy with uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. Dallas Bryce Howard. I said that backwards. No, it's Bryce, Bryce Dallas, Dallas Howard. Howard. I Bryce said it right Dallas the first time. Howard. And then yeah. I questioned myself. But... Um, I'm just going to preempt this. I'm sorry, Mom, but... Mm. <laughs> she's cute. Oh, yeah, she's cute. I think that she is just gorgeous, and I love her. And uh, But do you, did you think she was prettier as a blonde in this movie or her oh, natural, no, natural red hair? You like the yeah, red? You can't... You don't fuck mm. with Legacy. I mean, she looked good blonde, but, like... No, I was going to... I was going to go uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall, and I stopped myself. The redhead, Paul Rudd. Oh, yeah. Do you think the carpet matches the pubes? <laughs> I can say it. I'm single. You can say it. I stopped <laughs> myself. I stopped myself. Oh. <laughs> Crisis averted. What is this, uh, Letterman? The <laughs> top ten? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, um... I will. I, so I want. I do want to say some good things about this movie because there was some cool shit in here. Uh, there's like a subway fight between Sandman and Spider-Man, uh, and there's Dude, like a Sandman was awesome until yeah. they like defeated yeah. him with like. Well, there's like a logic. There's like a there's like a badass part where like Spider-Man just like takes Sandman's face and like slams it into a, like a passing train, and the train is just like grinding Sandman's face like off. I was it like, looks so cool. I was like, that's dope. <laughs> and then that made, when they defeated him, and I say they because, like, everybody comes together besides Venom to, like, defeat Sandman. Uh, like, Harry has, like, a... I don't know, like I was going to say an identity crisis, but yeah, sure. <laughs> um, and, like, turns good, and somehow Mary Jane becomes somewhat important outside of her screams. Um, and they basically are like hey, you're trying to do this for your daughter, like, do better. And then Thanos snaps his finger and he just, like, dusts away. And No, you know what it is? It's... You know, just like, you've been watching South Park recently? You know when Cartman has Jennifer Lopez as his fucking hand? When Cartman says goodbye to her and she goes... <laughs> and then he goes... Taco burrito. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He just goes off into the wind and Cartman goes... And that's the end of it. That's what oh basically what that's what Sandman did. He was like standing on a building, and Peter's like, he's like, I didn't mean to kill your uncle. And Peter's like, I forgive you. And he goes, Oh, it oh. just like it just turns into sand and like blows away in the wind. It was fucking. Oh my god. Hey. Oh. You're Did you hear it? No, but I heard you. Jesus in my Christ! Ear. Just, just a deep. Uh, Rogan, come in here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, and then just to to roll this out, I mean, like they really set up a Spider-Man four, and then it got because this movie was so bad, it was just canceled, canceled. And that's the same Raimi Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> watch the first two; they're super entertaining. Watch the third one and, and laugh along with us in spirit. And that's it. There's I might a, watch it. I might watch it tonight. I'm, I'm going to finish it because it was. <laughs> it's still fun. 
it's yeah. still nostalgic, but it does not hold up. It, it was no, it wasn't good back then. It's still not good it's now. Still not. <laughs> it did not. It aged as expected. But uh, what we're looking forward to is the potential of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield joining Tom Holland in yeah. No Way Home. So that's why we're touching these Spider-Man movies. I said that weird. Yeah. Why are we touching? Why are we, why are we touching these Spider-Man movies? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but well, yeah. With that being uh, said, we're going to go ahead and start uh, closing out this episode. <laughs> Before we get into anything, I do want to... Uh, <coughs> we've been doing this for a long time now, and I feel like nobody's met my dog yet. You always hear me yelling at her for barking at the neighbors and shit, so I'm going to see if I can pick her big ass up and bring her up to the camera. Yeah. Hold on. Hang tight. The oh, reason you never here. see her is because oh, no, no, Jake here. Jake come sits here. at a at a high top table come here. Come here. Uh, in his oh. office space, and I sit at a lower desk so you can see my bed. Also, my desk is like three feet in front of my bed. It's super oh. great. Oh yeah! Oh, there's Rogue. Baby. Yeah, look at her. Just the big baby. Oh my God, the big baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a good girl. She's like, put me down, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. <laughs> you see her? She's like. <laughs> like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> So, so that's everyone, my dog. That's Rogue. <laughs> her Rogie. She's a, a cancer rogue, rogue. survivor. She is a cancer survivor, which is awesome. She's the best, yeah. I had to amputate her leg in December. And then she got wall. cancer after that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. I'm just kidding. No. Knock on wood right now or I'll kill you. No. Uh, that was, <laughs> that's my dog. That she July. is amazing. Anyways. And she's uh, the sweetest <laughs> dog ever. She, yeah. she acts all tough and is like, growly and then she meets you and then the next time you come over to to see jake or her particularly <laughs> i'm not gonna lie half the time i hung out with you before we started the podcast was just to hang out with your dog yeah um well, that's not true but i do love your dog but then she just like whines she's like oh my god it's my friend yeah <laughs> like she's yeah. just a sweetheart she's such a great dog <clears throat> um we're dog people over here Absolutely. In this podcast. <laughs> My dog hasn't been in hanging out much. Um, yeah. It's because we're actually recording slightly earlier in the mm. day than what we normally do because we, we waited a day because her weekends yeah. were a little bit busier. Um, but yeah, uh, with that being said, that's Rogue. Thank mm. you to everyone that was a part of our live stream on Friday. <clears throat> we love it you guys. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. We're still, believe it or not, we're still kind of finding our footing here. If yeah, you, we've only been the, doing this for six months. This is episode yeah. 25. Also, thank you, yeah, guys, for letting us get this far. We yeah. wanted to do something big for episode 25, and we were just, like, racking our brains, like, let's have a big guest, like, let's do something special. And, like, we're, there is a, a giveaway it wraps up today so if you're listening to this like sorry you missed your chance if you didn't already enter it's yeah. it's your fault not ours. follow follow us on social media come on yeah what are you doing do that um <clears throat> but so we just decided hey let's kind of we're doing a throwback series yeah. on movies let's that just, we love let's just be goofy let's be goofy and, have fun and, with and it. go back yeah. to the roots where we just like talk mad shit and get a little literally uh, get a little well, choicy what Chad was Chad was saying to me earlier, it, just to give a little bit of context to how this whole thing even started, is Chad and I would, he lived uh, about 30, 35 minutes away from me before. Yeah, it was about a half Ohio. hour. <clears throat> and we oh, would nice like... cough to cover up your sorry. disdain for a No, while. no, I was clearing my throat. Shut mm -hmm. up. We, <laughs> we were, uh, and we would like Snapchat each other <clears throat> and like, fucking exhaust like snapchat will give you like what four or five like videos before it like yeah cuts, cuts you, get you, like, off. you get like two and a half minutes maybe <laughs> yeah. two minutes and we would just exhaust our 
Snapchats talking to each other about like Marvel and DC and comic books and oh actually this and this and this and like oh who would play a good character if they're gonna reboot Wolverine who's gonna who's gonna that be gonna be and we would start like snapping each other back and forth and and literally like it like Chad said earlier to me not on here but he would be like like. Oh fuck! I'm running out of time on Snapchat. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Let me finish. <laughs> and like, yeah. So like, this is uh, we really do enjoy this, and that's why we were like, man, let's yeah. just fucking. If if we and, had recorded all of those, we would probably <laughs> be at a hundred episodes right now. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure yeah. that we in the since January first. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that we easily hit, like. 32 full episodes worth of conversation oh. back and forth before January yeah. ended. They were just very drunk then. Or these are a little more controlled. Oh, as were a little a little more controlled. Those were rough. We have <laughs> we have scheduled drink breaks. <laughs> but uh, no, we we appreciate you guys so much. Those of you that listen and potentially will listen uh this is we just have a good time doing this. This is for fun for us. We don't think we're gonna get like famous or anything. So for those of you who are yeah. like, I don't want to listen to that because those guys are being pretentious. That's not it at all. We just are having a good time. Yeah, we're just having like, fun. <laughs> um Wow, way to use the word pretentious right before I talk about our brand new web store. <laughs> well, I am wearing one of our own shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Uh, but with that being said guys like we mentioned at the start of the episode if you've made it this far please check out our new web store it is in the link in bio uh we're just super excited uh because you know we've had these ideas for like different styles of shirts a couple different logos a couple different ideas for what to put it on fuck it's been so much fun like designing this stuff and like creating this merch and we realized that the the best way to do it was to just get rid of our original store and just launch something completely new. That way we could just launch it all as one. It has just so much more opportunity. And I want I, I want bragging rights to the the face off sweater. Oh, dude, that was one hundred percent Jake. Because yeah. I, I talked about originally just taking our logo and splitting it in half. And he's yeah. like, no, do better. He's <laughs> like, this is what it needs to be. And I was like, yeah. fuck, you're right. So it's basically, <laughs> it's it's our faces, th- these faces, but it's half my face and half his face and the nerd symbol. Yeah, right? and the nerd symbol. Yeah. And it's a zip up hoodie. So when you zip up the our faces, uh, half of his face and half of my face come together in the middle it's pretty fucking badass and it's also on uh one or two different shirts you can get like baggage tags we literally have clothes for your your crotch goblins i mean children um we well even and then you designed the the beer the baby bottle thing for the yeah we did we did stuff for uh children's clothes because the original sorry mom logo had beer in it and like you can't drop your child off to daycare wearing like a beer thing with beer on it. <laughs> uh, so we swapped it for like baby bottles. Like you it, swapped it. That was Chad's idea. It, he made it. I mean, it was. Bo- thank you for giving me credit. But like, you know, we just wanted to. We wanted to bridge the spectrum. Also, you have seen my dog on like behind me. If you watch this on YouTube. Uh, you've heard me talk about my dog. You've seen her lick herself behind me when I haven't been paying attention. Oh no, you froze. Oh no, not on oh, my no, side. You're, so we're fine. You're you're good now. You're good now. Um, and then you just met Jake's dog, Rogue, Rogie, Ro Ro. You know, just the sweetest girl, like the the nicest dog. They're both cute. They're both cute dogs. Yeah, my my, his do- dog, my dog has more his, of an attitude, but my dog is also like six years younger, so like give his time. dog and I took a took a hot minute mm-hmm. to fucking connect. And then after that, my dog no longer cares about me and only wants yeah. to like. When I was Jake. when I was in Ohio for well, shit, was that May or <clears throat> yeah, June? it was in May. May, 
uh, literally like my last day there, his dog was like laying on my lap and like, <laughs> like, like you, Chad. <laughs> with her ass up against me. It was bogus. But, but before so, that, his so we dog have, was like, like, we have dog me. merch is what I was yeah. trying to say is like, dog you know, we, cause we're, we're animal lovers. We have, you know, get a dog t-shirt, dog bowls. Uh, mm-hmm. you like to travel, you got laptops. We, we have merch for literally fucking everything. Everything. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're super excited about it. So check it out in the, in the, the links below. This is episode 25. This is just the beginning. It's been six months and we're still trying to fucking figure it out. And the people that are, have been around since the beginning or have joined lately, thank you. Thank it's, you. We're just, we're going to make it better. We're trying. Yeah. We're, we're doing everything we can. Uh, in future episodes, we're going to diversify a lot of our guests to, to kind of get away from like the film and TV and comic nerd side of things to an yeah. extent. We still want to talk about nerdy things, but we're going to branch out. We have, we have. Because it's not just really about cool. what we deem nerdy; it's about what everyone All things nerdy. Yeah, yeah. If you have an idea and you're like, "Man, I love Dungeons and Dragons," we like, want to get to that. Yeah. Also, subscribe to our Patreon because I want to start a Dungeons and Dragons <clears throat> league with patrons. Let's do it. Yeah. So I just I actually just found out that Nick's uh brother plays D and D with like his friends. <sighs> like, bro, get on what are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> mm. I'll talk to you about I've, that at, off camera. Yeah. But we've taken up <laughs> enough of your guys' time. Yeah. Uh so we with that being said, yeah, we love you. Thank you. And Jake. This Oh, do you want to? You want to like, say what? it? You want to do it? No, you want to do it? Or you get it. get it. You get okay. it. You already get it. it. Get it. Oh uh, yeah. Let's do it at the same time. Bump. Uh. Same time. Okay. Same time. This. This has been, has been the All, all things, things Nerd, Nerd Podcast. Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Start again. No, we already did it. Fuck it. All right. Fuck it. <laughs>